one that want to appear strong. Your people are very much clear why they don't want this. You know, you are only asking them to take it, to accept it, suffer for it, that they will enjoy it later. And they said, if you want us to suffer for it, then you too should suffer for it too. Not by giving yourself, you know, splashing the billions upon billions of, on yourselves. And then you tell the people to bear the hardship. And when they said no, you call them criminals. Right? And then you can use the weapons. You call them terrorists. You call them anarchists. That's the reason to get them killed. In Nigeria, Bokuari started, Buari started killing the Shiites because of the religious division in northern Nigeria as well. Because they get like a two, three version of Islam there. And all of them claim that their own is the best one. Okay. In northern Nigeria. So the Shiites believe that others can call their own Islam is not original. And others, uh, the Sultan of Shokoto others, they're like, no, you, uh, Shiites. Your own uh, Islam is not original. Since those ones are in power, they just went after the Shiites. Everybody looked away. In two days, Nigerian army killed over 1,400 Shiites in Kaduna, in Zaria. They buried them in shallow grave with the help of uh, El Rufaya of Kaduna at the time. Oh, um, my, they scream and they shout, like, say, nah, my mama, I've been and my papa come from uh, the Shiite family. Everybody's majority of people just looked away since they are not Shiites. Boko Hari, uh, Buhari started killing the Biafrans, the Igbos, the IPOB. Some of them killed all of them. They don't hear what. All this uh, Biafra, Biafra, it'd be like they never learned, learned any lesson. They watched Boko Hari kill the innocent people. All they have to do is to call them terrorists there. Yeah? They looked away. Thousands of people disappeared or killed in eight years of Bokuari. But that's just that. But by 2020, the same Bokuari turned his gun, mobilized the soldiers, and they turned their guns on Nigerians that were waving flags. They told them, Oma, it's a military code. If you are holding flag in Nigeria, military cannot touch you. They cannot shoot you. Almost they shot everybody. Over 200 people were killed in a single night. 20 days of protest in Nigeria. More than 500 people were killed. To this day, there are still so many people locked up in different prisons in Nigeria because of the NSAS. They did it. He killed people. Today, he's an elder statesman in Nigeria. There are people that will be so offended. Eh? There are people that don't like me because I call him a uh, Bokwari. They agree with see, they agree with me on everything, but they just don't like the way I don't. I should show some respect to the terrorists, Bokwari, the murderer. That's Nigeria. Now you have Tipnumbu. He has continued from where uh, where Bokwari stopped. You protest, they go shoot you. Now Nigerians going to tell you, oh man, you want to go protest, they will shoot you. See your mate in Kenya. They were shooting them. Tomorrow is another day. You need to stick to this channel. You don't want to miss anything, do you? Just as if they drop, eh? And they low down. Right there, straight there from the oven on the shelf for you. Let's go back to Nigeria. Okay? And on, uh, on my way, eh? We need to pass through Abel Kuta. Who is ready? Omo, again, low seat belts. Get the wire melt. See, there are some places, right? In Nigeria, especially in Ogun State, Edo State. You see these two? Listen, I know others too. Don't, don't, I'm just pointing out these two. Eh? If you are driving your car in these places, you need to also wear helmet. For your own safety, let's pass through Abel Kuta. We are on our way to the National Assembly of Nigeria. Hmm. Deputy Controller of uh, Finance of Nigeria uh, Customs was invited to the National Assembly based on uh, financial mismanagement, uh, based on missing money, with no balance. Why they were interrogating him, Baba? He just played. Okay. Mm. 
But to me, shall right? They were probing him about uh, the stolen money or something, something. Ababa, Bolo Joshi, Demi, Asarailu. Asarailu, po, po, po. You could date me over. This is us now in Ogu State. Wow. And people here, they vote for Ogun. They voted for him. As per Ogun State, yes. not Lagos, right? Yes. See, can you see this road? How people are made to drive every day. And then this that we are building is chilling. Look at him. This is where I am now. Look at this. Do you know that it's not about Kutado, right? It's uh, Okwelu, Nabado area, okay? If for uh, Alabado, all those places, right? Uh, do you know that uh, there are some people who were born in some communities in Ogu State, right? They have never seen the roads in their community, right? Motorable in their life, and they are in their 30s. It's like you are growing up, right? And all your life, the place you are, you are born, you are, you grow up, probably you are married. You have never seen the road in your community, motorable in your lifetime. Do you know there are people, there are places like that. You exaggerate too. However, hmm? I saw where Arab and Bidiot, you remember him? I went to Pampas, La Midiot, Pampas, Arab and Midiot. I saw where he has been calling on you, the obedience. When I think they value yourself, he said, he said, without you, there is no Labour Party. Now that uh, Arab and Bidiot, as well as uh, La Midiot, Pampas, plus uh, Abure, now that they have reconciled their differences. Arabambi says you should go and form your own party. Oh. So this afternoon, the Wahala inside the Labour Party continue to uh, burn. And it is because they believe that Abure, like they normally do their thing before the obedience came, business as usual, RNG, Padi Padi. But now I want them to become uh, transparent, to become open, to be ding, ding, ding. Now Wahala don't shell it now. So some of them are now asking Abure to go. Obi was around to address them at their Labour Party Secretariat in Abuja. And then, you know, a few other things that happened there. Then we'll go to the Arab and Bidiot, because now we are in Abuja, we're going to Abuja. Levy, rice levy, textile levy, overdue cargo levy. If you are not here today, we will not be thinking of any coming together to, to, to reconcile. We will be thinking of how to go about it the way we think. It is better for us to do. I like this your conclusion. Thank you, sir. This is your conclusion. Yeah. yeah, perfect. You've done very well. I show you every war, every disagreement was set up the yeah. We are one family. What is happening with us is worse in others. We will reconcile it. Just know that you met me today and I've talked about you. Item number one, reconciliation. Number two, reconciliation. Number three, let us remain focused on the side. No, 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 please, please. Why are you my friend. Let us talk to one on one. Let us talk to one on one. Let us talk to one on one. I came out here. I'm not armed. Yes. So if I don't trust you, I won't come out here. Okay? If I don't trust you, I won't come out here. I'm not armed. Okay. 
I was in a meeting, he spoke to me. Yes. Okay. And he agreed to have a meeting. Yes. What we need to do, we need to finish a meeting. Yes. Eh? Bring your leadership, not yes. just you. The no, meeting, I told him. The meeting is going to be with him. Yes. Alone. We need to resolve this issue. Okay. Anyway, forget about this thing that is happening. Okay. At the end of the day, what we want is solution to save this country. Yes. And we are all in the same business. That's it. Regardless of where we came from. That's it. So please tell the people to come down. I will go in there and also tell these people. Yes. You know, the funny thing about this thing is that it takes only one person to throw a stone. Yes. Then another person will reply. Yes. After a while, you don't know where the crisis started. I can assure you that. that we now, now, nobody will reply to them. First, two we, things, two things happen. Yeah. You didn't know his number. But he answered the call. I know. I and, have his number. Okay, and yes. he said, "This is Peter." Yes, yes. Fine. I was sitting there, and I said, "Okay, call the leadership." They, everybody, every team has a leadership. Yes. So please organize your people. We we'll finish that meeting. Even if we don't, we have to meet here. We we'll go somewhere. Come on. But we will meet. Yes. Yes. But yes. we want to meet here. Yeah. 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 Na edo, si na edo governorship election for all of this. So. From how the candidates got the ticket, how Abure also played on others, and then uh, the last election as well as the money that they realized from the election as a party. Now we think cause all this wahala bigato. And as the obedience uh, I'll continue to say their own political parties, Peter Obi. Some of them are already asking that they should go and start their own uh, political party. So, <laughs> somebody said obedient, gather here. That's it. Obedience, Oya, gather here. Arab and is giving you an advice. What do you think? Party for them, so let them go and win from the five south east. I mean, five south east. Say, yeah, I mean, the five states of the south east. Then they go and become governor. Approach INEC to raise up with them party for them. So let them go and win from the five south east. I mean, five south east. Say, yeah, I mean, the five states of the south east. Then they go and become governor. I mean, I mean, president and change that constitution. That once you win five states, then you will become president. Was removed, but Labour Party came. Okay, they pretended they were our friends. They ran behind the bully. But their own point, they are, the, the major thing why the Labour Party was because they have, you know, this conclusive decision within themselves. Let us form Biafra. Labour Party cannot be used to form that nonsense. We are not ethnic, we are an ethnic, I mean, ethnically based political party. I'm sorry. Go and look at the NTC. Formed by Joe Ajero, out of 28, 70 are from the South East, five states. What nonsense is that? From I'm, the sorry, state. I, I, I'm sorry, I, the, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I might just need to, of course, uh, interrupt, uh, you, you, you know, your, your line of thought. Uh, I sincerely apologize for this. I sincerely apologize for this, uh, Mr. Arabambi, but uh, we are pressed for time. I'm giving you this problem. Hmm. Anyway, just in 30 seconds, what's the way forward? 30 seconds. Well, the way forward for us is this. All the people that are moving towards this federal offense, they should leave our party. Joe Angelo, as far as we are concerned, is not a member of our party. Aisha Yesufu is not a member of our party. Kenneth Ogoko is not a member of our party. Deliver Moriti is not a member of our party. They are members of Mr. Peter Obi movement, obedient movement. And finally, Mr. Peter Obi must respect our constitution. So according to him, he said the obedience, they want to use Labour Party eh, to get Biafra. That's why you will know that Olori Bruku is a mental right? I'm sorry that I had to make you listen to that too. So according to him, the obedience movement should go and use the five states in Southeast to become president of Nigeria and then get their Biafra. Don't think he didn't know what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. A majority of them does too. You see, they have been doing, I mean, making efforts repeatedly to tell you 
you obedient, you are IPOB. They know they are wrong. They know it's not true. But the likes of Arab and Bidiot and Co., they are part of uh, the political players in that contraption. And you will have, you have thousands of them as well who are also going to join you to say, let us save Nigeria. You can't save Nigeria because even Nigeria, that they have looted so deadly, couldn't save this deputy controller. Well, how come this money is not dead? This one is missing. This one is not straightforward. Now the question, no. You want to drink tea? You want to drink water? May they give you tea? Na coffee? You could today as a railu. Watch this. How the deputy controller of Nigerian uh, customs in uh, from the finance department is being probed and questioned about uh, the financial misappropriation. I mean, non, non alignment of uh, the the reported uh, figures and number. Be like, say, they say, oh, Nigeria custom generated one trillion. You can't see say income, Nigeria custom income, eh, hundred and ten billion. You see, but well, you said you generated one trillion here. It's written there boldly, right? But this one says your income is uh, hundred and ten billion. What happened to the remaining? 890 billion. Where is the money? Let me pass Stop breathing. Levy, rice levy, textile levy, overdue cargo levy, wine levy, and cigarette levy. So I want to bring to the notice of this honorable house that out of these nine federation account levies, that only one, which is CET, as you can see from the table there, is presented to fact for sharing by the Office of the Accountant General. The rest of the levies, though classified by the Office of Accountant General as Federation Account Levies, is not the responsibility of the Nigerian Customs Service to remit this money for sharing in fact. That all these other levies from two to nine has been appropriately remitted into their respective account. So, sir, at this point, I would want to take us to Appendix A, pages 5 to 14, which shows the account that these levies were remitted into. So, I will turn with me to page 2. You see the list of those items there. And for 2016, for 2016, this were the forest levy, cigarette, and all other items. There was a total remittance of 49 billion 830,000, 734,568.21. Then I want to take us to the, I want us to turn to page 5, Appendix A, page 5, to see the central bank statement of those items that were, that were remitted. So if you look with me, you will see, I believe it's there in your paper, where we have the asterisk there. You will see the 10% um, rice levy. You see rice levy. And you look at, this is a central bank statement with the CBN signature. You see that this morning, this, this sum of 7 billion, 349 million, 474,540 naira, 87 was remitted into this account, which the central bank statement confirms that. Into which account, sir? Sir, which, the... When you say this account, which account? Is that is the 10% rise levy. 10% rise levy. Uh, yes, sir. Ten percent. That's rise. the name of the account. Yes, that's the name of the account, sir. Ten percent rise levy. Yes, ten percent rise levy. That is the name of the account with the CBN. Yes, that's the name of the account with the CBN. Okay, so who who benefits? Who who benefits from that account? Who draws from that account? Yes, sir. What what I'm saying here is that this levies, as I stated earlier, is listed as federation account levies. 
and it is the responsibility of the Office of the Accountant General to send this money for sharing in fact. But for whatever reason that this money which the Nigerian Customs Service has remitted into its appropriate account was not sent to Federation account is what the service cannot give explanation. Okay, so your own position is that this money was actually sent to the account provided by the Accountant General? Yes, sir. And that the obligation of, the t of now taking it into the uh, bank account yes, sir. is out of your own purview? Yes, sir. That's your position? That's my position, okay, sir. Okay, go, go ahead, sir. So, sir, the same thing applies for 2017. And 2017 can be seen in the next page. That's 20, okay, 2016. If you look at 2016, it encompasses other levies. I will still, the first one I picked was for only one levy. If you check uh, 2016, you will see other levies. That is, um, you see the 30% levy on sanitary waste. You can see the, that's page six. You can see the levy there. And then you also see a textile levy, cement levy, and others. So I may need to take water. You need to take water, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, go ahead. Or if you need tea, do you need tea? I may need to take water. Soul goes wherever he actually belongs according to his deeds. They always have documents listing about money, 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 but ask them where is the money. In in between where the money is remitted, the money is deposited, yeah, 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 it will go missing. And not then you just realize that they are telling you about this money from here, from here, here, here. Then you just start talking about the money. And then you'll be like, where is that money? I don't know. It's unfortunate. So I don't want to say maybe his soul should rest or may no rest. Okay. So may his soul, uh, wherever it is, I shall be dealt with according to his uh, own deed. Alayi <laughs> read all of that. And it was like, ah, I want you. See, uh, listen to me. You will let motion around on cover you. So don't don't come at me, please. Oh, uh, the rice rice uh, levy, uh, tomato levy, uh, the unicorn levy of uh, remitted to Central Bank and to uh, ah 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 ah. In his own head, it's like ah ah ah. Eh, worry o, eh, worry o mo. But he mo kai eh, worry o. And I think he suffered that attack. And somehow, they couldn't even try to resuscitate him there until ambulance were coming. No medical facility, no nothing. Everybody was just like, Shema Muti. Shema Muti. You want to drink water? I mean, you go drink tea. Uh -huh. I mean, coffee. Shake off in Jack Daniel. I never see me dear. Shema Long Bategun. As they were asking him all of that, Allah, you know, Julia, I would know. Then you know, a few minutes later, they announced that he's dead. So we wish him what he wished uh, on on the people he served. Because more than that, they go soon they attack me. Say, man, they respect it. They don't like we. That was shit we found out. Eh? Me, I tell you, say, I they fight the dead. Well, Leo. Anyway, we leave it at that. There is this our man. Olusholaoni Baashegun, which is doctor, Doctor Olusholaoni Baashegun. You know Baashegun. If you have been uh, a Yoruba uh, nation or Yoruba sovereign nation advocacy uh, advocate, <laughs> sorry, I'm tired. So yeah, you would uh, have possibly remember the name Olusholaoni Baashegun. Well, they've started uh, 
they've registered the Yoruba party in the UK. I know some people are already feeling like, how are you going to call it Yoruba party in the UK? Something like that. See, listen, mine is just to let you know that if the UK law says they could have it and it's currently running uh, in the Peckham area, you know, uh, to become a member of parliament in the UK. There are so many questions and I know a lot of you have that same questions and say, what about the Ronukus? How are the Ronukus seeing this? That uh, the Yorubas have been so established in the UK that they have their own political party. In fact, someone, I mean, someone is actually running or a few people are actually running on the platform to become members of the UK or British parliament. Play this video for the Ronukus that need to see it. This is how they are campaigning in London. Uri, 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 uri,